You have found your way down to the Mac Cave, and tonight we are diving back into retro gaming in the 8-bit era, and I'm going to be playing one of the hardest games I grew up with, and for some reason, I always found myself coming back to this game. I have a love-hate relationship with this game, and after, geez, probably the last time I played this might have been about 20 years ago, I'm curious how well I can actually do with it. We've got a super chat to start off the night. Graph Web, the most consistent person on the internet. $2 super chat for hashtag cancel Disney Plus. Thank you so much for the support. I greatly appreciate it, everybody. And man, I think I'm in for a real challenge tonight. This game, I guarantee is gonna kick my butt tonight. Guys, it is way back Wednesday. We're going full on retro tonight. Sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink, and enjoy some iconic retro gaming. Let's get this party started. Welcome everybody to Way Back Wednesday. Tonight we are playing Adventures of Dino Ricky on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now this game is is a game I've seen uh, talked about in fairly recent years. It actually surprised me that this game cropped back up for a few people. But what a lot of people had in common was that everybody struggled with it. And this was a tough one. Uh, this game is one of those vertical scrolling games, so you're always on the move, you're always moving up the screen. You play as this little caveman named Dino Ricky, you're fighting all kinds of dinosaurs and creatures, and there is constant blaster fire at you from every direction. And the goal is simply just trying to get from start to finish, grabbing some power-ups, get the high score, and try to beat the bosses. Well, there are four worlds to go through in this game. I'm hoping we can get through all four, but we might not. This game is a tough one, and you guys are going to see exactly why this one is considered one of the toughest games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So let's switch over to the game screen, and we're going to talk about how we're playing this tonight, guys. All right, I'll see you over there. All right, everybody, we are using the Retron 5 tonight. I cleaned up the cartridge, got it all dusted off with my 1UP cards, got that all set in the console, and I have plugged into it an original NES controller. We're going old school. I want to get the same feel that I had back when I was a kid with this game. I want to see what we can do with the original cartridge, the original controller. The only difference is we're going to upscale it through the Hyperkin Retron 5. I love this system. And just so you guys get a sense of what we're going to be dealing with here, um, this is back in the day of just trying to get as far as you possibly can in a game and get the high score. That's really what it comes down to. This is also one of those games that loops. Once you beat the game, it just loops back to the original level. So there's no real story, no real uh, cinematics or anything like that. We are going classic NES where it's all about the gameplay and having some fun before we dive into the game. Let me scroll back up in the chat. We got a whole bunch of people here tonight. Alan Copeland, what's going on? Spidey Librarian is here. Black Dragon, good to see you, my friend. Brooke Chen is here. Graph Web with the $2 super chat. Thank you so much. Nightbot showed up. Thanks so much, Nightbot. I appreciate all the work that you do for the channel. <laughs> Vanishing Column, good to see you guys. This is going to be awesome. Spidey Librarian says, uh, speaking of Disney+, Plus." How are you liking X-Men 97 so far? I absolutely love it. I came off of it fresh from a rewatch of the original series and dove right in, and it has been amazing. I have had a ton of fun with it. Blazer Hawk Darren is here. Guys, we are going to jump into some retro, iconic gameplay here tonight. I got my cup of coffee here because I wanted to be plenty awake for this one. Hmm. Uh, my wife got me this mug. 
with great beard comes great responsibility. <laughs> I love this coffee mug. Well, let's make sure I got plenty of energy to get through this. I'm hoping we can reach all of the boss battles in this. Uh, the funny thing about this game is that the boss battles are easier than the levels. Uh, so it, it's pretty crazy. It's it's pretty nuts. So we're going to dive into the game in just a moment. I do want to point out here, um, guys, if you guys are into X-Men 97, which is going on right now on Disney+, Plus, uh, go check out Spidey Librarian's channel. He's doing the watch-alongs with it, and he's going to be doing episode 6 tonight. So definitely check that out. It is awesome. Uh, the show is amazing. I highly recommend it. Okay, guys, let's get to some gameplay here tonight, guys. Let's do this. And let me know in the chat, in the comments below, if you're watching on the replay, have you played Adventures of Dino Ricky? What are your thoughts of the game? Did you ever beat this game? And let me know what you think of the gameplay tonight. Let's do this, guys. Adventures of Dino Ricky. All right, here we go. We should get the uh, the game audio should be playing plenty fine. I did a whole test before beforehand to make sure everything was working good. Uh, if it's too loud, let me know, guys. We can make the adjustment on the fly. I know sometimes these 8-bit soundtracks can get a little nuts and repetitive. Angelina, good to see you. Uh, so we're going to do this. I tested it out real quick. That's why you see a high score right there. It's a very small high score. I just wanted to make sure the game was working. Um, this game is something I have not... Uh, played in a long time. Uh, this one, you can see, was uh, came out in 1989. It was made by Hudson Soft. Uh, you would recognize their games uh, from their little icon that looks like the bumblebee on the cartridge. But here we go, guys. Dino Ricky. Let's see how far we can get. This one is a tough one. Holy moly, here we go. Oh, this brings back memories. Oh, and I got hit already. So we're going to be collecting a few items here. I just picked up some diamonds. Those are going to give us our points along with uh, attacking the characters here. Let me pause for a second. I see we got a new member, guys. Ted's Nerd World has gifted a Matt Cave Gaming membership, and it has been picked up by the Sabersmith. Thank you so much, Ted. I appreciate it. And Sabersmith, welcome back to the memberships here at Matt Cave Gaming. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Guys, speaking of memberships, it's a wonderful way to help support the channel. Super Chats are available as well. But as always, guys, those are completely optional. The best way to help support the channel is exactly what you're doing right now, watching the channel, interacting with it in the comments and the chat, hitting those like buttons, and if you haven't already, clicking that subscribe button. Honestly, the freeways are the best way to support, but if you do want to take it the extra mile, there are those other options as well. I greatly appreciate it, guys. You'll notice on the screen right here, Two items that I unlock there. There's a fist and there's a diamond. The diamond, as I mentioned, gives us the points, and we're going to be collecting those to reach a high score in the game. The fist upgrades our weapon, and there are multiple upgrades that we can get along the way. Right now, we're literally throwing rocks, and uh, and then we want to try to upgrade all the way where we can get, like, firepower. It's going to be pretty awesome if we can get that. There is a key item. Excuse me. There is a key item that I want to try to get here. Uh, and it's a set of wings. It's kind of like Icarus wings. If we can get that, we can fly over a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping we can find that. <laughs> Ted says, spin it. Don't worry, Ted. We're going to be bringing back the Wheel of Fate real soon in some games. It's going to be a lot of fun with that. Uh, I'm glad you guys had fun with that Wheel of Fate. I had a great time with that too. So that is coming back real soon. All right, here we go. We're going to unpause. We're going to get that upgrade and see what we can do here. I think the next weapon is a set of axes. Yep, it is axes. Ooh, almost got hit. Now, if we get hit, we not only do we lose a heart, we're going to lose the uh, upgrade that we got. Oh, and I died already. Oh, boy, I can already see this is going to be a rough go. Look at that. We only had two lives to start with. We are on level 1-1. One, one. There are checkpoints at certain moments in these levels. It's one of those games where as you progress through the scrolling level, um... One section is going to be 1-1, one, one, then it moves into 1-2, one, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, stuff like that. Oh boy, i got to really get used to these controls again to make sure that we dodge all the stuff that's coming at us. There we go, fill up our hearts. We definitely want to upgrade our stuff. Get uh, Oh, those boots right there will make us move a little faster. We don't want too many of them, though, because you can actually move too fast. And then it gets a little nuts, especially moving with a D-pad. Look at all this stuff coming at us. And this is just the first level. This is the first area, guys. And we've only got one upgrade so far of our weapon to the axes, but the weapons get even better 
as we go. And now we are at some platforming here, and I got, I think I got too many boots, I'm moving a little too fast. Oh, and I dove right into the, right into the water. Uh, looks almost like Galaga. Yeah, it's like, with that, like, moving upward kind of deal, it's one of those vertical games. Um, kind of like River Raid and stuff like that. Um, so constant bombardment, depending on where you are in the level. There's sometimes there's, like, invisible items that we can get, too. So that's why you want to keep kind of shooting all over the place to try to get everything. Oh, now we got the boomerangs. These are pretty good. Oh, I lost them. There we go, we got those back. I missed the boot. But each one of these weapons gets a little more powerful. The next upgrade is the firepower, which is the most powerful weapon. And if we can get that, I can actually hold in the B button and keep firing it. Right now I'm tapping the whole way. Um, but we definitely, oh, we wanna get that boot and speed up a little bit here. Oh man, these rocks. Let's see if we can get that firepower. Boom, we got it. We got the firepower. Oh, we just unlocked a star. That eliminates the enemies on the screen. I found wings. I found wings, guys. Here we go. We are flying now. Oh, and I lost the wings. <laughs> and the firepower. That's the thing. If we get hit, if we get hit, we downgrade our weapons. We lose the hearts. And we are almost to a game. But you can see we're in 1-3 now. And we got a checkpoint. So that's how these levels are going to progress. Let's see if there's anything special. Oh, something invisible here. Oh, I thought there was. Okay. Never mind. Woo! Oh boy, these lily pads. See, this is where the wings come in handy. We could fly right over this. But, um, we don't have... I lost the wings, so now we gotta deal with the jumping. And this can get really tricky here. Whoa, whoa, almost walked... And I walked right off. <laughs> give us the wings. It gives you wings. Yeah, we give, uh, we gotta get Dino Ricky some Red Bull here. Snakey24, what's up? Welcome to the screen, uh, the stream. We got a high score of 20,720 right there on that round. We only made it to 1 3. But you can see right off the bat, the game starts throwing like everything at you. Ah, I wanna get a little more. A little more coffee in me here. The Star Wars Obsession with Ghost says, let's go 8-bit. Let's do this. All right, we're going to dive right back in, guys. Whew. I think we played on zero, so we technically technically have three lives. Let's see if we can beat our high score this time and get a little further. So much stuff coming right at us here. Let's get those axes. These flying guys are always the worst. Oh man, I, I walked right into them too. That fish. I remember being impressed with the graphics though of this game. This was one of those games that just, for me, with the larger sprites and everything in it, um, I always enjoyed the look of this game back in the day. I don't want to get those boots. Oh no, I do because I'm slowed down. If we get hit, we slow down too. That's the thing about this game is like every hit it damages you in multiple ways. So you're dealing with the loss of speed, the loss of hearts, the loss of your weapon. It, it's a lot to take on all at once. So it's, you really gotta be like really cautious. But a lot of this comes down to kind of memorizing what you got coming at you. Oh boy, I keep losing all the powerful weapons. Well, we fill up our hearts there with the meat. Lots of bonus items. I don't know if you guys can hear the clicking from my controller, right? I'm like clicking like crazy. <laughs> my apologies if that's coming through. <laughs> oh, the rocks with axes, that's insane. I need, I need a weapon. Oh, I fell in the water. Ricky can't swim. <laughs> we did get an extra guy along the way. Oh, we're moving slow again. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get better as we go here. It's just uh it's gonna start to become muscle memory here, but we're down to rocks again. Throwing rocks. <laughs> I got a rock. Oh! I don't even know what these are flying at us. Now like the end bosses are different types of dinosaurs. It's pretty cool. There's like a pterodactyl, there's a T-Rex, there's um 
What else was there? I think there's a Triceratops that we fight. Any invisible ones? You could find hidden power-ups along the way, which are some really good ones. Man, I got hit as soon as I got that thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, okay, right. yeah, we do play on the zero. We do play on the zero, guys. Oh, oh. I think we're about to have a game over here in a second. Gotta get the feel. Gotta get the feel back. Oh, I knew it. I had a feeling we were gonna get that, that game over right there. Look at this. Trying to get that that eight bit muscle memory back here for a game like this, it can be tricky sometimes. But uh, let's see. Look at that. We we didn't hit our previous high score. We missed it by about two hundred points right there. Probably like one more diamond would have got us there. And the alert didn't go. We have another super chat from Tripping Orc. Thank you so much, my friend. Ten dollar chip uh, super chat says, "Congrats on ten k, dude. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it." Uh, guys, the channel, holy moly, this, uh, the, everything's been going so awesome lately, and I have you guys to thank for it. Oh, we're getting a preview of one of the boss battles right there. That's the T-Rex I was talking about. Um, guys, yeah, the, the channel's over 10,000 strong right now. I can't thank you enough. It's amazing seeing these. I, I wake up in the morning, I get these alerts uh, from YouTube Studio, and I get stuff from vidIQ showing different milestones that we're hitting. And uh, it's been amazing, guys. You guys have been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. But Tripping Orc, thank you so much. Very generous. $10 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see if we... There's the alert. <laughs> Look how delayed that was. What's up with that? Yeah, the system can't make up its mind sometimes of like when it's gonna do the alerts. Let's see if we can like back up a little bit here just to give us some room. Get past these guys. Oh, I missed the upgrade. Oh, get it. Oh no. Whew. Boot, speed up a little bit. I don't want another boot, though. I don't want to go much faster than this. You really can go too fast uh, in the game. And it can really mess you up. Oh, let's get those boomerangs. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I got hit on the tail end there. Still got axes. Get that boot because we slowed down from the hit. These jumps were always so tricky. Oh, can we get the firepower? Let's go. Firepower. Let's go. Can we keep this? Can we keep this? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get through here. Let's get through level one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. There's another set of wings up there. Where are they? Where's the other wings? Oh no! Firepower is back. I thought there was wings right here. I guess not. Okay. Well, okay. Here we go. Wait, are they over here? I think I missed them. There were definitely secret wings over there. Alright, let's watch out for these lily pads. Come on! We gotta go. No enemies coming. That's good. I know when you're flying over this, enemies will show up. <gasps> oh no, I jumped too far! <laughs> I jumped too far! <laughs> oh my god, I wasted it. We're at 1 3, got, and we're back to rocks. Oh my goodness. I thought there was a secret weapon over here. There is! Oh, I missed it. Okay, I gotta remember that. That left side. When we get... Oh, oh man. Almost fell. 
That left side of the board, we gotta get that, um... There's a secret weapon there. I forget what it is, though. Some kind of power-up. Can I walk that? Yes, I can. Here we go, here we go. Tricky, tricky. Oh, boy. Okay, this is the furthest we've gotten. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need a weapon upgrade. I need a weapon upgrade, like, big time. Wings! I need the second wings, though, so we can fly high. No, I fell in the water! You're right, this is hardcore platforming. Sarah is happy hives, welcome to the stream, good to see you. Welcome to the adventures of Dino Ricky. As I'm getting my butt kicked. Let's get that heart. Oh, we have the worst weapon. We're throwing rocks, guys. We're throwing rocks. And we got more platforming. Oh, no. I walked right off. Is that game over? No, we're on the zero. We're on one four. Oh, oh. Man, this is... My memories of this game being hard are, no, are, are spot on. Oh, gotta watch that jump. You jump really far. Should be able to walk this. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. Get away from me. No. No. Oh, we're at the boss. Oh, please be an upgrade. Give me an upgrade. Is one of these a fist? We're going into a boss battle, guys. We're going in with axes. We're going in with axes. I forget which... I forget which boss this is. All right. Let me pause real quick before we go in on the boss battle. Let me just catch up on chat here real quick. Uh, I saw Sarah's Happy Highs come in. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. <laughs> Spidey's like, what WTF is this? Uh, this is some Frogger level shit. <laughs> yeah. It's, um... The mix of platforming and the constant bombardment of enemies uh, makes this game really, really challenging. The funny thing is, is that the levels, I remember them being a lot more challenging than the bosses. Now, look, it's been forever since I've played this, so I gotta remember what the pattern is with all these bosses. In classic Nintendo fashion, the enemies, the boss battles, always had a pattern. So once you figured that out, you're kind of in good shape. For the rest of that battle. So let's go take a look. This is either a T-Rex or a Pterodactyl. It's a Pterodactyl. Let's get him. Let's get him. My weapon is breaking his firepower. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes! Can we get... We got an extra life, guys. We got an extra life. Let's do this. Level 2-1. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. We are in new territory now. And, oh, man. I'm getting destroyed already. All right. What are the items in those... Those uh, vases? Boots? What are those? Oh. Oh, my goodness, guys. Wow, I'm getting wrecked right here. I am getting wrecked. <laughs> I mentioned in the beginning of the stream, there are four worlds to this game. We are in the second world at this point. And uh, if I remember correctly, the fourth world is literally the, the prior three repeated. Oh, man, I'm too far up. Um, and you have to go through, like, all of them in a row or something like that. It, it, it's, it's, it's kind of tough. These guys are all over the place. These rocks are not cutting it. Oh no, we got sinkholes. Probably blocking the good stuff. Oh no! There's no continues as far as I remember. 
60,530 is the score we got this time. That should be our, our saved high score now. Mm. Now, here's the thing. You take a look at Ricky right now. He changed a little bit. Now he's got like those wings on his back uh, here on the title screen. So the higher you go, the further you go in the game and the higher your score, you're going to change Ricky here on the title screen. Um, so we're going to be going back to world one, but now we're kind of getting the hang of this and seeing like what we need to do uh, with all the different patterns. That's the power up right there. The demo's playing right now. That's the power up I was trying to find. It's on the left side of this level somewhere on there. And look, you like, you become this like Hulk. I don't know, he's like literally like throwing copies of himself. It's really weird. Snakey says, hook up the game genie and let's beat this bad boy. <laughs> what I may do, because we are, uh, I have the cartridge in the Hyperkin Retron 5. We can make save states um, with that. So uh, here, I'll show you guys. Um, in here, we can actually create a save state. So actually, let's just do that for the sake of, of doing it right now. We'll go to save state slot one. And this is this will save our high score as well. So let's do our, our save state right here. All right, so we're gonna dive right back in. We're in world one, but now we're starting to get the feel of this, right? Getting the idea of what we're gonna need to do here. And you see how like how careful you gotta be with this. I'm kind of moving up here to try to get the upgrades, and I I probably shouldn't have I should have hung back right there. In all honesty, would have been the right move. Oh, I got wasted. <laughs> Sarah says, I forgot about Game Genie. I haven't used the Game Genie in so long. I don't. I actually don't... I had one as a kid. I don't have it anymore. I have, honestly have no idea what I did with my Game Genie. I had it for the Nintendo. Um, I never had any of the Game Genies for the other systems. Though, for later systems, I did end up having... I had a Game Shark for either my PS1 or PS2. And then I have an action replay for the GameCube. Uh, which I really like the action replay. Um, that that was my favorite one. I don't want that boot. That's that's too fast. <laughs> this is the speed I like right here. For, oh, let's get the firepower. Let's go. Keep it. Keep the firepower. Yes. Yes. Oh. Dodging these bullets. I don't want those boots. Okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling better about this, guys. As long as I don't fall into the water. Get the meat. Let's go, let's go. If we can keep this firepower, oh, that would be fantastic. I want that, like, Hulk power up, though. I think it's on the left side of this level. I gotta find it. Maybe with this firepower we'll get it. Because it's an invisible power-up, but you have to just happen to hit it. And the wings. The wings I really want to get. We're over here somewhere. There they are. There they are. There they are. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. No. Oh. Oh no. I gotta get the firepower back. Firepower! Oh, it's right here. I hear it. We're Hulk! We turned in the Hulk! <laughs> oh my goodness. We got the Hulk power. Oh, don't lose it. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, this thing's cool. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm just shooting. I'm shooting me's all over the place. Can I get wings too? No. Okay, I can't have wings at the same time as this. Oh my god, this is 
nuts. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I'm like panicking. Oh no. Oh. That was close. Oh no, I lost the hole. And it puts me down to a rock? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. I can't believe- and the boss level's right here. We got hit once as the Hulk, and our weapon got reduced completely to a rock. Now we're back down to the axes for the boss battle. Let's do this. We got three lives. Let's take out this pterodactyl. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I got hit. We're down to a rock. We still got him. We still got him. We got him, guys. Let's make a save state, guys. Let's do it. Might as well. Let's do it. Level 2-1. We've got three lives. We're down to rocks. We need upgrades. Oh, no. Everywhere. Oh, the item blocks my bullets. That's not good. Oh, man. So that when I unlock the items, the bullets don't go through them. That's rough. Okay, I gotta be really careful with that. I got hit a couple times because of that. I didn't realize what was happening. I wasn't... I'm not sure why my wasn't making the hits. Oh, these rocks suck. Oh, get away from me. Oh, get away from me. Oh, no. Right, I gotta back off. Man, these guys take multiple hits with this rock. Oh, man. I want to know what that item is uh, next to the sinkhole. That's... I really... I bet that's something good because it's taking a lot of hits to open it. So that must be a good item right there. It could be wings. It could be wings in there. Maybe it's a Hulk upgrade. I don't know. All I know is that the rock... The, uh, the rocks, throwing rocks in this, they are just awful. Yeah, look at that. The thing doesn't go through him. Oh, I'm going a little too fast now for my liking. It's a heart. And I fell immediately into the sinkhole. Do I? Uh, well, okay. Depending on how many hearts we have when we get there, that'll determine whether or not we want to get it. What is that guy? Oh, we, it bumped us forward a little bit. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, I was... Oh man, I was talking about being between a rock and a hard place right there. Our new high score, 93,230, guys, on World 2. We made that save state there. Um... Which I think we should use, that we could jump right back into World 2. Uh, let's do that. Ted says, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> uh, Sarah had a, super, a Game Genie for the Super Nintendo. Nice, that's awesome. Um, let's use our save state, because we went into World 2 with three lives. So I think that's worth using. And then we can go into it, get our upgrades, because it's going to put us back down to a throwing rocks anyway. 
when we get to the new levels. So let's just do it that way and see if we can get to all uh, all four of these worlds potentially here. My thumb is already getting tired. <laughs> Smashing this B button, <laughs> trying to stay alive here. But I always, I, these vertical scrollers, I played so many of these uh, growing up. There was one that I absolutely love uh, called Captain Skyhawk. Did you guys ever play that game where you're flying a, a plane and it's you're basically fighting aliens? As it looks like a plane like right out of Top Gun, and it, it was just it was just awesome. It, it just for me it, like it felt like it felt like I was playing Top Gun versus aliens. It was just so much fun. I need an upgrade. I need an upgrade. heart. Getting hit. It's moving faster. I don't know why it just moves so fast right there. But neat. I got a bunch of hearts right now. What is that? It's blocking it. Jeez. Oh, this is relentless. I just got that meat and it filled me up. Oh my goodness. There's just so much flying at me right now. <laughs> oh, they hook back around. That's going to be the killer right there. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I think the boss is right up there. I think we are almost to it. That was 2-3. Oh no, a whole nother section. Never mind. There's like hardly any upgrades here. Actually, well, there's bases everywhere. But I'm just not getting to them. There's a heart behind a sinkhole. This is just... It's a lot. <laughs> no upgrades. One upgrade. We gotta be getting close. World 2 is definitely longer. Let's just go this way. I know there's diamonds over there, but... Oh boy, there's sinkholes over here. Of course, there's... There's always something that's like... Oh! Let's go, let's go, let's go. hit. And I took another hit. There was a heart. There was a heart right there. There was a heart right there. 2-4. I think we were at the door. I thought for sure one of those was going to be an upgrade, and it wasn't. This right side was not worth it going. rocks and the bats and this is just an insane amount <laughs> flying at us right now. Let's go this way. I'd rather deal with the sinkhole. At least I could tell where that is going to be. There's something invisible right here. And I missed whatever it is. That's the reason to go to the left. There is an invisible item right there, guys. That hard. Stuff shooting flames like this always reminds me of Mega Man. I'm too close to the top. Oh god, these guys are like... They're like heat-seeking freaking bats. Ah, how am I gonna get through that? Oh my goodness. He's dead, Jim. 103,840. Oh. Alright. Okay. All right. I, I think I'm willing to lose the high score for the sake of being at World 2 with three lives. I think that's key that we can start there. Spidey Librarian says the game designer hates the world. This level 2 is no joke, guys. This is insane. All right, let's do this. World 2. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. 
Come on, we have to, like... We can only get better, right? <laughs> you would think? <laughs> I can at least get the boomerangs. That would work so much better here. Wow! I don't know how I just got through that without getting hit. I don't want those boots. Oh, now I do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 get out of town. What's going on? There's like hardly any up there. I forget where that invisible upgrade was. There was definitely an invisible upgrade somewhere. I'm, just... I'm like tensing up. <laughs> oh, I can't keep an upgrade for more than two seconds. an invisible thing. Was it the left when the path splits? Is that what it was? It was when the paths... I think when we split, if we go to the left, there was something um, to the left. <laughs> you get anxiety on my behalf. <laughs> These rocks. Okay, axes. And they're gone. <laughs> and they're gone. Oh, these purple guys. Oh, he blocked those boots. Oh, go to the left, go to the left. What is here? And I only got a rock, so it's going to take forever to get whatever it is. There's something here. Oh! What is that? Is that the Hulk power-up? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. That didn't last long, but now we know what it is. Okay. Okay. There's a Hulk power up there. I almost don't know if it's <laughs> worth getting. Oh, maybe it's not worth getting. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Fighting rocks with rocks. These guys, these like homing beacon bats or birds, whatever they are. Oh my goodness. I mean, considering this is the only upgrade I can get right here, I might as well go for it. And I just lost it immediately. Nope, got shot in the butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Level two. Level two, guys. But, the, you know, it's a four-level game. You know, games weren't, weren't crazy long back then. But I'll tell you, some of these games were made so difficult. It, it, it just gets crazy. And then, believe it or not, I do remember beating this as a kid. I remember the end. I remember the final boss. It was like a weird giant fly. And uh, I used to think it, it reminded me of Baxter Stockman from Ninja Turtles. Oof. Is 
It's like as those guys pass, they fire off like a bunch of bullets. And why bats and pigs have bullets, I have no idea. <laughs> too fast. Oh, those, I grabbed too many boots. That's my fault. Okay. Oh! Took my hand off the controller for a second. Oh, that meat gave me a full power up. Uh, full, uh, heal. That's good. I kind of, like, depending on what we get there with, if I have anything better than the rock at, uh, at that juncture, I don't want to get the Hulk power up. It's, like, almost not worth doing. Oh, why did I move? Why did I move? <laughs> good to see you, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate it. Right into the pit. Right into the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wings! Oh my goodness! Oh, I wasted them. You need two sets of wings to keep flying. Because if you, if you jump, um, you lose them right away. So there must have been a second set of wings right over there somewhere, and it's probably invisible. I don't know where it is. Alright, I'm gonna go to the right. Oh, it's a hit. So two hits. Oh. Got caught on the screen. We're cutting it close here. Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm making a save state right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. We're at boss battle. World 2 and we got boomerangs. What do we got? What do we got? T-Rex. Get wrecked. Yes. 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 And we got an extra life. Let's go. 3-1. What are we doing? What do we got? And we, we kept our boomerangs. Okay, what? Is it the skulls? Yep, it's the skulls. Oh. Now the axes. Back to boomerangs. The meat. What are those? We got flying eggs and I'm down the rocks. <laughs> Okay, we're getting some weird stuff now. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, oh so splody. So splody. It's like caving in on me. Oh, oh. That's rough. Okay. Oh, really wish I had wings right now. Oh, God, do I want to go that way?
There's so much. No. Oh, these guys went right for me. Okay. I'll take axes. They're better than rocks. Look at these little foot soldiers. Oh, they get back up. You gotta be kidding me. What is that? That's a heart. One hundred and seventy-two thousand seven hundred and forty. Oh, okay. All right. And I, I, I realize what I did now thinking about it. I overwrote this previous save file where we had three lives for World 2. So now we have World 3, but with one life or two lives because we play in the zero. Uh, fighting variances now where Castlevania's red skeletons come from. Oh, God. Okay, but World 3, guys. World 3. Let's get back into it. Whew. Man. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I gotta... What did I do? I saved right before the T-Rex. Alright, we're gonna fight the T-Rex again. <laughs> Let's make sure we... Kick his butt. Okay, there we go. Let's let's make the new save state there. Three one. Here we go. All right, my boomerangs get blocked on those hills, and I missed all those guys somehow. I can't hit them, but they're crawling across those hills. That that kind of sucks. I gotta get lower. Oh my god. I can't be so high up on the screen. Oh! Wings! And these things! I can't fight them with rocks! There's so many! That skeleton came to life! The, the freaking lizard skeleton! There is just so much on this level, guys. I'm gonna go to the left here. You shoot me from the side. What is this? It's a heart. Oh! No! <laughs> I backed up too much. I backed up. Let me catch up on chat here real quick. We're gonna pause there for a second. Give my uh, my hand and my wrist a, a little bit of break here. Uh, Spidey the Brand says, "Oh, Dukat, he's an Elden Ring boss." <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, these things. Um, yeah, we got a batarang, the T Rex, the death. the the boomerang weapon actually works really, really well. Um, I like the boomerangs probably just as much as I like the firepower. But you see how many upgrades you have to get just to get that firepower. And hanging on to it, that's the real trick. Now, we got to get enough points that we can get an extra guy. Um, so we got to collect more of the diamonds so that we increase this high score and try to get those extra lives. I think it's going to be our only saving grace here if we want to get through all four worlds, which, man, this is, it's looking rough here, guys. It's looking really rough. I don't like that these guys are popping up from the, the bottom of the screen. I also don't like that I can't hit him while he's on the hill. That's kind of like not cool. <laughs> oh, I'm moving a bit too fast. I almost had firepower right there, guys. Oh, get out of town. How am I supposed to defeat these things?
they just circle in on you. There's no, <laughs> there's no freaking way. Wow, these things circling around me? Uh, what a cheap enemy. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man, that jump is tricky right there. That's a really tricky jump right there. Okay, let's just dive right in. Let's dive right in. Three. World three, guys. Oh, I almost had the firepower. I was so close. I was so close to firepower right there. Oh, I just got a star. Knocked everybody off the screen. What a cheap enemy! There's more! What am I even supposed to do with that? Wow! I don't know. There was like... multiple of those piled up on me. Let's go to the left this time. I don't remember if there was like anything hidden over here. in the ground, and now these guys. Oh! Wow! Oh, we thought World 2 was no joke. Oh my goodness, guys. This is insane. This is... Look, he's got his hand up now. <laughs> See, now we got the higher scores, so Ricky keeps changing a little bit here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright. Okay, 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 come on now, come on now, we could do this. Because it's after World 3, it's, we go back to these prior worlds in like shorter versions of them to get to the final boss. Fire, 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 fire. Firepower did with these things. These... This is the most unfair enemy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. That's. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Look at that. I. I, I like shot through it. It, it just didn't take the hits. Those... It's like Marble Madness starts attacking you. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember that there's a heart right there. No! <laughs> no! 
I said it in the beginning, I'm probably going to get my butt kicked in this game. I don't know if we're getting through World 3, but I'm going to give it another shot here, guys. I really want to see if we can get to the end of this. But man, I'll tell you, this is... This is intense. And we did this as kids. This is, this is something I grew up with. So many things block my weapon. Yeah, see, like, I wasn't hitting anything right there. And I don't know why. I don't know what I was hitting. Oh, this is... I'm like, I'm trying to, like, jump away from it to see if, if that'll do anything. It's just following me. Once that thing wraps around you, it stays on you the whole time. Um, I honestly have no idea how to successfully fight these things other than just get lucky. Was there anything to the right here that was worth getting? Now. <laughs> and this was a heart. I'm moving really slow. Like some of these guys, if we could just get them to walk off screen, it might be better. That heart came at a good time. Okay, go back to these. The axes do nothing. The thing won't die. Oh. Oh. Oh no. It was gonna be boomerangs. It was gonna be boomerangs. <laughs> we got a little further right there. We did get a little bit further. Oh, what do I need to do to get past that? I can't even imagine. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure how much is left of that level either, but we got pretty far that, uh, that time. All right. I gotta just time this. I gotta try to stay as low as I can, but these, these flying skulls come up right behind you. And that's gonna be the biggest problem here, is the stuff showing up from behind. And then also losing my entire upgrade right there. You hear, like, some of these things I hit and it dings? Um, that means the, it's not doing anything to it. The, the bullet is literally bouncing off of them. Am I doing something to trigger these things to come out? I'm wondering if there's something I'm doing that's causing those black orbs to come out. You hear that? It, it's hardly doing anything to them. Every time it dings, it means it, it really didn't do any damage. Hmm. right here yet. We go this way. Let me see if there's anything hidden that'll help us. I'm taking lots of hits though. Okay, we're back to the cracks. And these these orbs come out, so they, it's just 
It's just the moment they come out. But I'm not defeating them. Hmm. I don't know if there's a trick to that. I, I don't remember those as an enemy. And as far as I can tell, unless I... I see, I gotta... I gotta get that firepower. I think that's gonna be the only way to get through those black orbs. I gotta keep these boomerangs until we get to that fist and then upgrade. I'm missing everything. Okay. Patience, patience, patience. Let's go to the right. No. Oh! Even when he's down, it counts as a hit. I can't touch them when they're down. And, of course, here comes the black orb. Because then, like, on top of it, we've got these black orbs that are, are just going to hit me no matter what. And on top of that, we've got all the other, other enemies flying in at us, firing their bullets at us, and just, just, there is just stuff everywhere. I can't even imagine finding a way to get around these things. There's got to be a way, though. There's got to be a way. I did this as a kid. I did this as a kid. How did I do it? <laughs> no. I got hit just as I got that fist. item didn't unlock. See, th that's the other thing that's driving me crazy, is that I know I'm hitting things, but I'm not hitting things, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like that was just a waste of the, the boomerangs right there because of these black orbs. Hmm. This might be as far as we get, guys. I don't... I can't think of... Anything else I could possibly do? I can't jump over them. And there's just way too much going on right there, so... Jumping is just... Like, you only want to jump when you have to in this game. Like, if there's a pit you gotta jump over, or you're, like, platforming on the lily pads, like, in that first level... Uh, it, it's... Yeah, the flying would be great! When you're... When you get the wings, and you have firepower... That is the ultimate moment in the game. And I, I don't know any cheat codes or anything like that for this, this game. No. This is what I want. I want the... I don't care about the diamonds anymore. I care about keeping firepower. <laughs> See, look at that. It counts as a hit even when they're on the ground, so we can't touch them at all. They're just not dying. They just don't die. And there's more! I... I killed all of them, and they instantly came back! They instantly came back! Wow! 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 Hudson Soft, what were you smoking when you made this game? What is wrong with you? I want to interview the developers of this game. Just be like, hey, what the hell did you do to us? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you make this happen? <laughs> I still played this game like crazy as a kid, though. I'm not gonna lie. This was... This was in my NES constantly.
I hate these purple guys. These little foot soldiers? Oh my goodness. They are the they're, they're almost as bad as the uh as the black orbs. Oh. Get out of town. Yeah, well the black orbs are coming. I know some show up right here. Yep, here we go. Here's the death. Because I got rocks. Well, it doesn't even matter. None of my weapons work on these things. <laughs> wow. 189,360. That might be our highest. So, if, actually, no. I think we got. I think we got a little higher than that before. Oh man, guys. into. Let's go, let's go. Let's keep going. If I can somehow, I really want to see if I can get, oh, if I could just get that firepower and hang on to it for just a little bit further. I haven't been able to test it on those black orbs yet. And if those don't work on the black orbs, then literally nothing will. I have to know. They blocked me out of getting that piss. That was messed up. I need to know, guys. I gotta... It's not gonna be this round, clearly, but, uh... I gotta know. I... I can't fight these things. And there's more! There was two left, and more showed up! <laughs> At the game over screen, press up and start at the same time to continue. Oh. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna try that. We're definitely gonna get a game over screen. <laughs> oh, this game is a nightmare. and start at the game over screen, huh? Okay. I don't even know what the... I don't know what the best course of action is here. There's just so much. get an upgrade, I get hit immediately. <laughs> Are we further? Did we get further? Did we just get further? God. No. Oh. Is this the boss battle? Oh. Are there any hidden items? Any hidden items? Anything. Anything we can use. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Uh... 
let's let's go to save state two and save there. Okay. No hidden items as far as I can tell. We've got axes for whatever we're fighting here. I don't remember what the boss is here. It's a snake. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, he's tougher. Oh, yeah, he's he's definitely tougher. And we got rock. We got an extra guy. Oh, yeah, this guy's tricky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> Getting them with rocks. Let's go. is to try to start shooting him before his fireballs come out. My thumb is so tired. <laughs> we are getting points, though, for shooting his fireballs. That's actually really good. That's how we got that extra life. Chad! Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. W's in the chat. Let's go. We're going to save state slot three. We are saving right there. Oh my god. World 4-1. We're back to world. Different music. And we're up to boomerangs right off the bat. Okay. Oh my god. That was a long jump. And I kind of just walked off, but okay. Oh, it's okay. We got our save state now. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! Okay, I gotta... It's going to take a minute. I got to get the hang of these jumps. These are long jumps. I got to get the feel for that. Holy smokes, guys. 235,260 points on the high score right now on 1989's Hudson Soft brought to us by Adventures of Dino Ricky. Holy smokes. Let's get back to our save state. 4-1, guys. 4-1. I was legit feeling like we we're going to have to pretty much just give it up. Um, is there a hidden thing here? I was thinking World 3 was going to be the end for us. Oh. And we got hearts. There's another flower over there. Oh my god, I feel like there's a secret over here. There is. 
the star. Oh, it didn't. I didn't time it right. The star eliminates all enemies off of the screen. That's only a diamond. Okay. Don't worry about that left side. It's only diamonds. I'm not worried about that. Um. Let me just read the chat here. Uh, Sith Apple says, Action Replay and Game Genie are the only way to use cheats for uh, for this game. Oh, so there's no built-in cheat codes by the developers. Interesting, interesting. So these games were, like, built tough, and you needed third-party software to decode it if you wanted to go nuts with this game. Good to know. I like the music change. I just fell right into the water. Um, I, 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 how do we get to that flower over there? I feel like that's going to be something important right there. So I know we're going to go through... There's... This is a, like a multi-part world. It's going to be um, going through the, the same environments... How am I supposed to even... I don't... Oh, you know what? We would probably have to come into this level with wings if we want to get to that side. So I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Let's just worry about progressing forward. Oh, I didn't jump far enough. Man, these are tricky jumps right here. Definitely tricky, but it's doable. It's totally doable. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. We gotta get the firepower. If we can get the firepower, I'm gonna feel so much better. Oh, I walked right off. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Oh, beating that level, that pumped me up there, guys. I really was, like, legit getting ready to be like, you know what? I think we're gonna have to call it. I don't think we're getting much further. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, guys. Ah, I'm moving too fast. Maybe I shouldn't get that boot. Ah, maybe I should skip the boot. I don't know. I don't know. And doing this with only two lives to work with... It's even trickier. That's why, we, that's why we need the points. The points are so important to get extra guys. Okay. I walked off. <laughs> oh. Is there anything hidden over here? The fact that it gives us these upgrades right off the bat, too. I mean, it's prepping us. No, why am I not jumping? Why am I missing that jump, Chad? <laughs> I want to be able to do this more than ever now. We're so close. We are so close. I'll tell you a big difference about using a uh, NES controller now is my hands are a lot bigger than they were when I was a kid. <laughs> it's almost weird holding this controller. Sometimes you feel like a giant holding some of the controllers that you go back to uh, that you grew up with. Same thing with like the Atari 2600 joystick. Oh, I didn't, I didn't wait. I was, I, I messed that up, guys. I, I screwed that up. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot about the bats. Okay. Man. <laughs> Can we do this? I mean, I can't even get past these platform in here in the first part of level four. Just little taps. Little taps. Remember, 
the, the D-pad is, is sensitive. Oh no! I mean, I swear I'm hitting jump and he's not jumping. <laughs> Hearts here too. This is platforming is our biggest problem right now. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm staying on it too long. It's it's sinking. I I think I can. I think I'm thinking I can stand on it longer than I actually can. So I gotta move a little bit faster there. You see our points started over, guys? I just noticed that. Our points start from zero on this level. Whole bunch of hearts like we're ready for the bad guys we're just not ready for the platforming why can't i jump there i swear guys i swear i am pressing a there and he is not jumping it almost feels like something's blocking me maybe i have to go the other way maybe there's like an invisible wall there what could possibly be blocking me there though jump there too what is going on <laughs> what is going on i'm pressing the button i know it's working because look i can jump i can jump whenever i want <laughs> all right no more excuses no excuses come on matt cave get it together let's go call yourself a retro gamer let's go beat this game <laughs> There we go. Oh, enemies. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, I didn't want that boot. Fire in my heart. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, poo -doo. Oh, there we go. Getting blocked by the bushes. Get out of town with those. Come on now. Was the furthest that was the furthest we got why did the points start over in world 4-1 what's up with that there's no way we can reach that high score from there <laughs> okay hold on a second um who said that before where was it in chat somebody said at gate oh sith apple a game over screen press up and start oh i'm not at the game over screen all right we got i gotta try that another one i mean if i press up start here that's that's one one but I gotta try that on the next game over screen. Okay. Slowly but surely, guys. Thank you. 
Oh, I walked off. Come on now. Come on now. I would love if Nintendo ported this onto their Nintendo Online service on the Switch, and then I could use, like, a Pro Controller or something. I feel like an analog stick would do really well here in this game. Versus the D-pad. That could be pretty cool, if they ever did that. But this being a third-party game, there's very few third-party games that Nintendo ports... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, to that online service. Oh no, I'm getting wrecked. Getting wrecked. And the bushes are blocking. That is just awful. They can all fly through all their bullets and everything, go right through all those trees. But mine won't. Oh, gotta fill up. And we're down to rocks. I got a bunch of hearts there, though, so that just saved us quite a bit. Oh, oh no. Oh, this. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, it moved out from under my feet. <laughs> okay, up and start. Hey. It worked. It worked. Up and start is continue. Thank you very much, Seth Apple. I appreciate it. And it gave us two lives. <gasps> oh. Game changer. Game changer. Star of the stream, everybody. Seth Apple. Seth Apple is the star of the stream, everybody. I'm moving too fast. I got too many of the boots. Oh my goodness. But that up and start is key. That gave us an extra life to work with. That, that in itself is huge. That is absolutely huge. <laughs> now I'm just like, I'm starting to rush a little bit. That's... Uh... Yeah, like just the one boot and you move so much faster, you gotta just like gently tap the the D-pad. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting about those guys showing up. Oh, that, I keep thinking that's the fist. It's a boot. I don't want that extra boot. I gotta move over to the right and get the fist. Oh, these, this path right here. This is a pain in the butt with these trees. Okay, okay. I gotta remember where all the, the things are. Up and start. Look at that. Give me one second. Just wanna... Whew, thank you. <laughs> like, it's not really a cheat code, but it's about as close as we're gonna get. Up and start. The old up and start trick. Dumb Matt Cave, what am I doing? <laughs> we get that extra life to work with, and I just jump right in the lake.
<laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> this is rough, guys. This is rough. This is why the only parent says you want platforming hell? Because that's how you get platforming hell. <laughs> this is... This game is rough, guys. It really is. But I tell you, I just... I, I have such a love-hate relationship with this game. I've played it ever since it first came out. I remember buying this at Toys R Us. Like, this is just... It's one of those games that I just love. Okay, that's the boot. Actually, I need the boot now because I slowed down. Oh, it's too late. It's too late for the boot. Ah! Ah! There's too many. I'm too close to the top of the screen. And now this guy's in the water. Something... Something's stopping my bullets from hitting them. What is this? I'll never know! <laughs> This is what it was about, though, back in the day, guys. It was just the repetitive, keep trying, keep getting a little bit further, trying to remember where everything is each time out. And, you know, we didn't have save states. We didn't have any of this. Like, I, I did this as a kid going back to the beginning and trying to get further each time out. That's what we did back in the day, guys. We didn't have memory cards on these systems. Not until, like, you know, like, PS1 and stuff. Ah. Uh, I wonder if I can make that jump. I want to know if I can jump to the right onto that island and get that that fist right away. I, I might be able to do it. I think it's worth trying. I think it's worth trying, everybody. silly mistakes. I make silly mistakes, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here with me during this, uh, craziness. What made me think to, to replay this game now? I don't know. Maybe I just like being tortured? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Look, there's another lily pad all the way to the right that comes up. How am I gonna get that? That would have to be, that's gotta be like spot on timing for that. Oh, but I feel like if I can get to that upgrade faster, we could get firepower. up and they go down at about the same time. No, it's a little delayed. Interesting. Something is blocking my shots. I don't know how I just got firepower, guys. I don't know how that just happened. No! How did we just get firepower there? Is 
there a secret? What did I do that got me firepower right there, guys? What did I hit that I've not seen before? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to check the replay on that one. I don't know what was different right there, guys. Maybe the game glitched? Too much. Too much there. Too much. There's way too much right there. I can't get through. It's too tight. Too tight. How did I get the firepower? There's something right here. Oh my god, there's a secret back there. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at this. We keep learning stuff. We keep learning stuff that changes the game. Something about the first go. Okay. Alright, well, you know what? I think that that's game over, right? So let's see. On the right side... I have no idea where that extra upgrade is. What am I doing that's getting that? That's really weird, guys. Is it glitching? I forgot. Oh. beginning. Wait, now I have... Sometimes it starts me with axes, sometimes it starts me with rocks. I I'm at a loss, guys. I, I don't know what's, what's doing that. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Upgraded. If I get another fist, it acts like a star. That's a good thing. There's so many bullets. Oh, 
Why was he not doing a full jump? <laughs> oh. Now I have rocks. I don't know, chat. The game just, uh, changes its mind sometimes, I guess. <laughs> This might be as far as we get realistically at this point. Let's go this way. That was a little easier. That was a little bit easier. We got an extra guy! Oh, I backed up into him. That was too close. Oh, okay, we got an extra guy, though. We got an extra guy. Let's try that path to the left again. Uh, Spider Librarian says, have a great rest of your stream. I'm off to get ready for episode six. Uh, watch along of X-Men 97. Best of luck and take care. Thank you so much, dude. Enjoy the show. Guys, if you are into X-Men 97 and you are up to the sixth episode of the new season, uh, head over to Spidey Librarian and check it out. I'm going to be wrapping up here shortly. And uh, definitely, it is so worth checking out that show. It is so good. It's so good. Oh, man. So, yeah, guys, enjoy. Thank you so much, Spidey. I appreciate it, buddy. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good. But I will say, we do have a save state, and this is a game that we can always revisit. But we are coming up on time. And I think we did, considering coming back to this game after about 20 years uh, since the last time I played it, I think... I think we did all right, all things considering. I wish I could figure out what makes me start with axes here instead of rocks. <laughs> but who knows? It is a mystery of the game that I may never find out. I just, I didn't wait long enough for this, the screen to scroll up there. I'm going to give this one more go, guys, and then we're going to wrap it up for the night. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do, guys. Two lives to work with. Technically three, because we play on the zero. was close enough. That should have made it. <laughs> I feel like there's something hidden back there that I'm just overlooking that gives us another upgrade. I could be completely wrong, but I just... I have a feeling. I have a feeling, man. Oh! <laughs> 
a shot. Here we go. This is for all the marbles. <laughs> I ran out of hearts. I ran out of hearts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. This game. This game, everybody. Adventures of Dino Ricky. Brought to us by Hudson Soft in 1989. I am winded, guys. I am freaking winded. What's up, Steve? Wow. Wow. I, my hands, my thumbs. Wow. That game, that game, wow. That is a challenge, everybody. But we made it. We made it tonight to the fourth world in the game, which is the final world. They are shorter sections, but as you can see, they get more challenging. Like, there really wasn't much left of that section to get to the end of it. And you work your way through the prior environments from worlds one, two, and three until you get to the final boss and you beat the game. And then it loops back to world one. Um, it's, and it comes down to all about getting that high score, which was one of the biggest things when I was growing up. Getting the high score in the game, that was your, not only just beating a game, but that was your bragging rights too. Keeping track of high scores, whether it was on the home consoles or especially over at the arcades, that was always the best. Getting your name up on like the scoreboards and stuff in some of the arcades, those were always great. It That was a big thing and I always loved high score challenges. Tonight, we got up to 238,360 points. That was our highest point in the game. And then something resets the score when you get to World 4. I didn't realize that, so that's really interesting. But in World 4, we got up to 7,010 points just in that section alone. I'll tell you, coming back to this game after about probably 20 plus years, uh, I feel pretty good about how far we got tonight in this. And we do have the save states on here. Remember, we put the cartridge into the Hyperkin Retron 5. We were able to create the save states on there. I'll tell you, being able to play these games not only with the original cartridge, but with the original controllers as well is such an amazing thing. I love being able to do that. It, the, the Retron really has rejuvenated my collection. Uh, so, man, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me here for a way back Wednesday, we went into the 8-bit era back on the NES. I always have a blast going back to the NES. Next week, we're going to jump eras. We're going from 8-bit to 16-bit. And this is kind of a thing I want to do here with you guys for our Way Back Wednesdays and bringing it back to retro gaming. I want to jump around... The, the generations. So we played some 8-bit this week. We're going to dive into 16-bit the following week. We'll go into 32-bit after that, and then we'll go as high as 64-bit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to post some things in our community tab, uh, maybe throw a poll up there here and there of what we're going to do and put up some choices of games. I want to get your input, especially from our members, of what games we should play in those console generations. Uh, and if you have any suggestions 
please let me know down in the comments which games you would suggest playing for each console generation, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, and 64-bit. And we're going to go around and cycle around through those as we play our Way Back Wednesdays. Because uh, that's, you know, I want to keep it retro here with you guys for Way Back Wednesdays. That's what it's all about. It's about going way back. It's about the nostalgia and reliving the games that we grew up with. And I'll tell you, like the shirt says here, guys. We're gonna keep it retro, man. We're gonna that's what we're gonna do around here. We've got it, we've we steered away from it for a long time. We were hanging out in the remaster and remake territory for quite a while, and I feel like I've neglected the true retro gaming. So we're diving headfirst back into it, guys. We're getting we're gonna get down and dirty with these old school games, guys. And uh speaking of the retro shirt, this is one of the latest designs over at the Mac Cave Gaming Merch Shop. Uh if you haven't checked it out lately lately, we've got some really cool stuff in there. The link is always in the description and on the about section of the page. So definitely check it out. Some really cool stuff over there in that merch shop. And uh thank you again everybody for being here tonight. Uh your support for the channel has brought us to 10 thousand subscribers and beyond it's insane guys the milestones we're reaching here together as a community it's amazing we keep adding new more and more cave dwellers to the community i love that name you guys the mac cave gaming community came up with that it's stuck and i absolutely love it let's keep the channel growing all of your support is greatly appreciated and until next time guys keep retro gaming alive because one day your games will be retro too. Whew, man, I, I I may wake up with a blister on this thumb, guys. <laughs> this one, this one was intense. <laughs> I will see you guys next week.